Somewhere, deep in the Ozark woods, lurks the two people everyone tries to avoid the most. If you're not careful, they may find you before you find them. <laughs> If we've seen this program of his, the tutorial that I can't remember his name. Mediocre? Yeah, Mediocre Tutorials. What's well, good, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. This is the Flawed Cast, the last normal place on the internet. Mm. I'm here with my co-host, Mo. Love of my life. Hey. Baby girl. Hey. You know, my booty call. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 12 years. I, 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 if, 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 if we get our property, we, we start our own little community, our own little town, I think we need to name our town Far From Normal. Yeah, because the world normal is crazy as fuck. Yeah, we're far from normal. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Here's now she ain't 12 left. years. She ain't left for 12 <laughs> years now. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, today we are watching. Duty call that hasn't left for 12 years. They had one of those. Yeah, the for 12 years. Well, we weren't married. Are you talking about that? Yeah. Oh. And actually, it was more than 12. I think. I don't remember. I don't know. It all ended September uh, 23rd, 2016. So. Everything before that was a previous ice age? Yes. <laughs> this is the final ice age. <laughs> I already told you, till death do us part, there will be no divorce. One, I don't desire one, I don't need one, I'm in love with you. But on the second oh, hand, oh, oh, we, 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 we watched but, hold on, but on the second hand, if I should die before you, you know what you're supposed to do. Get your ass in that casket right now. Well, that's what I was saying. We were watching that, that, that family feud, and that one of the things Steve Harvey questioned, if you had a casket big enough, what would you take to the grave with you first thing out of your mouth my husband <laughs> yeah, you, you said hold on let me get this right mr x preacher man <laughs> mr x preacher man yeah when we got married we became as one right? yeah so when one of us dies the other one dies by their own hand or suffocation because they're getting into death Seems simple, uh -oh. easy. See, I don't have to t tell you if I die before you, I want you to find somebody else and I want you to be happy. No, bitch, because you be mad right here next to me. <laughs> like, like, like Joshua, that one time we were flying from Kansas City, driving in my Miata from Kansas City to Springfield, going down South 71 which was a little two-lane blacktop country highway that the semis used to avoid the weight stations so it was rough as a cob i'm doing about 90 miles an hour in my That's miata normal. and in my miata i mean we're, we're flying low and josh was over there asleep in the and i'm just going along and he just opened he just Opened his eye, rolled over, and looked. Of course, as small as that Miata, all you do is turn your head. He turned his head and saw that speedometer at 90 plus. He looks at me and goes, you better slow this down because if we go airborne, I'm killing you because I'm not dying before you, old man. You will die before me. I will kill you before we hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, it is. I am not dying before. I said the same thing. Like when we in our Miata, first time you took me driving it on the freaking highway with the top down, speeding like you have lost your damn mind. And I'm telling you, slow down. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah. 
but you were amazed at the fact that we could be flying down the high and semis would move over and get out of our way. We're flying down the left lane at 90 plus miles an hour and we're coming up on that semi and you're going, slow down, get up. No, they'll move. And I'm flipping for it. They're out, they move, and they go, whoa, right on by. And the bad thing about a Miata is they don't have an old shit bar. So I had nothing to grab hold to. So I'm holding on to the side of the seat. It doesn't have an old shit bar. What would All cars need an old shit bar. It wouldn't be any good. It would have gave me comfort. <laughs> In a traumatic situation, comfort is a very big thing. <laughs> and that was a traumatic situation. Because <laughs> all I can see is us hitting the tire of an 18 wheeler and then the car flipping up and us smashing into the back. Hit first. Be a blood splatter. Oh, God. 18 wheeler Miata. Hit it up like this. No protection. None. Look what the top one ain't even got a hard top. <laughs> no. Uh, splattered across the back of a semi. But there'd have been a note in my pocket. Which <laughs> <is> what we did. <laughs> <laughs> Put a note in my pocket. It's, a, it's reaction, you know. That's what they like to call it in the yes. chat whenever I go live, when I react to a reaction. But, uh. I think it's turned down a little bit. When you talk. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so we're reacting to a video by one of my favorite content creators. His name is Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. And uh, yeah, I really like his channel. Like his channel has done a lot for me. And, and what's really interesting is since we've been watching, they all watch each other. You know what I'm saying? We watch it because we watch him. And uh, but they all eventually it looks like that when they do release reviews they all at one time or another they gonna review each other. Yeah. I mean they got good content. Well yeah, I'll just wait until we get the, the, the start getting our stuff posted. And then they'll go, Wow. If we only knew. What? You got a coffee? Yep. Would you look at me like that? I didn't do it. I saw my tea. Nope. I know you don't mind my milk. Hell no. I got mouthwash over there. No. What do I need to do? Who do I need to kill to make you happy? Some coffee beans. Some coffee beans. <laughs> Those little marmot sets or whatever it is that eat the coffee. Hell beans. no, I'm not eating no shit coffee. Supposed we already be. discussed that. I'm not eating that coffee. Yet yeah, it's the most expensive coffee out there. But it comes out of an animal's ass. I'm not eating it. Well, if it, if it would, I would swallow whole coffee beans and shit them out for you so you could make coffee. I wouldn't charge you anything for it. You're wasting your time. Why? Because I would drink it. You would? No, I have to pull out bacteria on it. Well, you clean it up I have and to, cook it. I have to enough medical issues that it's don't fully cooked you. i mean you i don't it. need you shitting your crazy in my cup you're cleaning it up i don't need you shitting your crazy in my cup so you're saying that i do crazy shit yes okay and I've, I've survived i'm making a statement i've survived and i've survived 51 years without your crazy being poured into my cup Look how much better your life would have been if if you'd have had it. I'm just trying to make up for lost time. No, we're not pouring your crazy in my cup. Well, it'll be cooked down. Yeah, that means it's condensed. It's more intense crazy. No. To keep you awake at night. <laughs> Literally. And my radio coffee me down, but your crazy will keep me up. No. We can, wait, wait a second, wait a second, uh. No, I don't need your crazy in my cup. No, well, see, I'm trying to cup, they got the Black Rifle Coffee Company. Mm -hmm. Those are the uh, best. We could, we could, we could do Ice Age Coffee. Ice Age Coffee? Yeah. Yeah. So we could do, we could package our own, I could swallow them. And then grind and 
package it up. We could put it on the on our merch page. Ice Age Coffee. Before I remove, after I remove, before I remove, you'll post it after I remove all my bio stuff from the state. <laughs> and then black out my face. Because I'm going to have no association with that. That's as bad as going to the grocery store and can't buy romaine lettuce because it has a cold light on it. Well, um, but no, see, it, it, now, you know, they're, they're missing the whole point. Listen, I have two letters for you. One. Yeah. Ice coffee's a big thing. I'm not making ice coffee. Well, how do you know? It might be. Yeah. See this? You're dragging me down. No. I get the big idea. No, no, no. I had I'm the same thing. I'm injecting some common sense. I had the same thing with my dehydrated sake. We could have made a fortune off of dehydrated. You can ship it legally because there's no alcohol content. They react and then all they and they can get the activation you <laughs> the activation ingredient they can pick up locally and reactivate the dehydrated sake. We could have made a fortune. But no. Wanted no part of it. I feel so deflated now. The past year, I'm not gonna lie, it's done, it's done a whole lot for me in the in the past year. Yeah, like, I can it, to that. It really, really has. And uh, he's a he's a great content creator, and he uh, he speaks on things that the world doesn't talk about enough. I feel like. Yeah. And he feels like, and a lot of men feel like. Check the food again. Yeah. I smell the food. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're back. Uh, I don't even know where we're at, so let's get. Let's get this going right now and women feel and like women. actually yeah. a lot of people feel like this and uh it's just you know it, it preaches accountability it preaches uh holding yourself accountable you know what i'm saying and and, and being a, a good human being That's and it. i think more people should watch his videos to be honest yeah the first video that we reacted to together yep. <laughs> almost a year ago it's, it's close to a year yeah was a video of his mm -hmm. and uh that was the first time we ever watched a video of his which is the craziest thing it's come full that circle that is that is it's crazy. come full circle That's so yeah crazy. <laughs> we're uh we're watching a video today he's reacting to a group called the daily wrap-up crew and they are discussing uh the question of what why do women get mad when men ask them what they bring to the table if All you right. know what that means like yeah okay, like what do you offer yeah i'm saying assuming that the man is bringing something to the table first yeah or just bringing something to the table like assuming that the man is is not just some bum ass nigga asking like <laughs> well, what are you gonna take care of me when <laughs> or some shit you yeah. know assuming that the man has is offering something as well yeah. or, or or is you know what i'm saying is doing doing something for himself doing well not yeah. just doing something for himself, working towards something exactly you know what i'm saying you don't got to be rich no. You know what I'm saying? But if you got to be, you got to have purpose. You got to be doing something. So assuming that the man is, has a purpose and is doing something and isn't just out here living this fucking stupid life that people are living out here, this fucking reheatable microwave, <laughs> mi microwave uh, McDonald's life, it feels like. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. relationships are n nothing. They mean nothing. Interaction with humans is the worst kind of interaction. But Nothing people are still sacred. bumping guts, having babies, and yeah. ruining kids' lives, bringing terrible, terrible lives. Ruining the, the, world. the life is already terrible, and then they bring another life into that, and it's just multiple. You know, yeah, and then it has it just has a snowball effect, and it's ruining the world right now. Legit. And 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 it's this is uh like unprecedented. I feel like in America, the, where we're at right now, I feel like this is we've never been mm -hmm. in this place. Agreed. You know. So yeah, anyway, that was a pretty long intro. It's been three minutes, so we're just going to jump right into it. So yeah. It wasn't 10. It wasn't 10. Oh, shout out NTR, shout out Daily Rap Up Crew. I'll put both minutes in the description, <laughs> and we're going to get this started. Word. Let's go. Spaghetti. Without further ado. All right, well, we're going to get straight into it, because I understand this question is 
on the socials and we want to know why why do women get upset with the question what do you bring to the table yeah please let me know i'm sorry are you poor why am i poor Mm -hmm. no (laughs) i'm asking a question okay we gotta be poor to ask that question already okay already let's see what she has to say this round explain what because okay okay yeah no hold on before he before he pauses <laughs> you see the girl next to her her face she was even like damn bitch, yeah like what? what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> like that's crazy how do those things correlate if if you ask what do you got going on that means i have to be poor like if, if i'm asking you when you ask someone what are you doing with like are you you know what i'm saying what what do you what do you do what do you have to offer basically like that's I feel like that's a that's, that's a, a legitimate question. No. Because especially with the expectations that a lot of these a lot of these woke women have, that's a very good question. Oh, yeah, I agree. That is an excellent question. And they should be able to answer it the same way they want a man to answer. Don't give me that bullshit I burn the table. Well, but see, I, I me. Guess, but but see that you is more to this than just your pussy, your tits in your mouth and your hand. But from their point, I can, okay, but I can see her point of view. Her point of view is if you are in a financial situation where you have to worry about my financial situation, then you are not stable and stable enough to take care of me. If you don't, if you aren't bringing, if you're not worth a million dollars where you don't have to worry about money, then you're not good enough for me. If you have to ask, you know, I may be making a hundred and thirty thousand. So just right off the jump, she's supposed to assume that. Assume that. Oh, if her this is her measuring stick. Okay. Her measuring stick is if the man is so concerned about money that he has to ask about what I have to offer, then he cannot, on his own, take care of himself and me. If he has to worry about money right now, then I don't want to be part of his life because I want the man that we can get up in the morning and say, let's go to Paris and and have dinner because I want to see some show that, that I saw advertised. And it, no problem, babe. I'll just call up and have my, my guy fire up the jet and do this. And by the time we get, that's the kind of man she wants. But if you're making 120000 a year, and you have to watch, you have to budget your money to make sure that she doesn't want you. Because she wants the dude that doesn't have to worry about okay. money. Now, without the worry of money and all that, when he asks, what do you bring to the table? If in her mind, if you ask that question, that's what you're worried about. That's okay, what we, because now I get a couple of things. How because you shouldn't be worried about what I bring to the table because you should have everything that you need, and the only thing that you need okay, well then her is trainer, their body. Her train of thought is wrong. But her see, but that, is wrong. but see, yeah. that that is wrong. that that is the way these girls are. Be, they, the only the only thing that you have is this. They so, get this anyway. But, okay. But see, so what makes you as special than the next bitch sitting beside you? Huh? I say a man can get this, meaning a female pussy okay. ass fifty but see, but anywhere. What makes yours so special than the next? But, bitch? Okay, but see, the whole thing is, is you see, you're not think, you're thinking like a man. You're not thinking like a woman. The woman is okay. Does a Ferrari? When you go up and and look at a Ferrari, do you ask that Ferrari, what are you bringing to the table? Why should I pick you over that Mercedes? If you're looking at the Ferrari, then the Ferrari's got what you want. You the only thing you got to ask yourself, can you afford this Ferrari? That's their attitude. If you're looking at me, then I've got what you want. Because the only thing I am worth is what you can see. So if you're looking at some other bitch, then you're not. I then evidently I don't have what you want because that's how they sell themselves. This mm. is what you got. You don't go like I said. I don't think I was thinking like a man. I think I was thinking 
like a woman with a comma down. But, but do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah if you're yeah. Go, because each one of these women picture themselves as that high dollar car that you achieve. That you that you aspire to and once you hit that dollar amount when you can afford you don't go to the ferrari dealer and ask well i want to see what's under the hood and when do i have to change the oil and what kind of gas mileage if you got to ask that kind and if you got to ask the maintenance then you can't afford it that's their philosophy so if, if I you can afford it, I'd still act like but, but see, if you have to, ask, if you have to ask what I'm bringing to the table, then you aren't stable enough to handle because you can't afford me. Okay. It's just like if you go, you go and try to uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. that hand built car in uh, Rolls Royce. You don't not ever ask a Rolls Royce dealer to open the hood to see what's under the hood. You do not ask them about maintenance on it. You do not ask them because if you have to ask these questions, you can't afford this car. That's how they think. That's how they think. That's something I would ask. Them. So then you can't afford this car. Even same, if I could. Yeah, the same way with a Jaguar. You don't ask about the maintenance when you buy a Jag because it will blow your mind. You know, when you're talking a thousand dollars for a brake job, when you're talking five or six hundred dollars for an oil change. Yeah, I understand, but, but that's still something I would ask. But anyway, so yeah. that's that is, and see, people aren't. Well, what do you mean? You are the tip. That's their mind. I'm the Ferrari. Why are you asking? Mm. Why are you? Can't you see what I've got? Mm. This look. If your eyes do not tell you what you're getting, then you're blind. Why do you need to know what's up in here? You're, you know, this isn't what's going to take care of you. What's in my head's not what this in their yeah, mind, but not in their mind. In yeah. their mind, what does it? What do you care? What I think because what I think is not going to take care. You know, I can't wrap my round around it. Well, but that's what that, that that is their mindset. You know, and so like when the they pig go, said, "I'm a picky bitch." Yeah. So. I'm not a pass me by or pass me around. No, I'm she's a, a you know, and she will as long as she keeps that, she will she will end up with what they call a simp. Somebody who will worship her and spend every dime he has, but she will never respect him. Not she will never respect mm -hmm. him. And as soon as the guy comes around that she feels is 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 worthy of her she will dump his simp ass in a heartbeat mm -hmm. now she'd throw him away like last month's tampon okay. and he'll feel just as used and just as grody and just as worthless so if you're picking you girls if you're picking up some other woman's you simp same as their tampon. Normal question. That's a good question to ask. You should ask that question because it gets right to the point. You know what I'm saying? Why not get to the like? Why are we sugarcoating it, pretending that we that that this is the thing? People don't ask questions like that. Link up with people. Like I just said, have babies with them, all this, and then do nothing but complain. And, and there's no type of. They don't even, you don't even be friends and have kids. Mm -hmm. They don't even be friends yep. and have children together. There was no, no chance of them being in a relationship no. when the baby was born, when the baby was conceived. There was not even, no, nothing. But, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that's happening because people don't ask questions like that yes. and then got the nerve to complain, act like they're the victims in a situation when you need to hold yourself accountable. You made the decision. You both laid, laid down and had the baby and then both trying to play the victim. But let's go with my, because I just thought if she if she pops that attitude that she's the Ferrari, this is what if I was talking she pop that you know I'd say you know well so you think that you're like a fine car like a Ferrari that I should not well yeah well you know with a Ferrari if I find a defect I can take it back to the factory and they will fix it so if when when I find your defects can I take you back to your daddy and will your daddy fix you for me? Or do I have to deal with it? Because when I buy a Ferrari, I don't have to. I don't want to have to deal with any of the maintenance. I got somebody else that'll maintain that bitch. So you know, you better be perfect 
Because if you're not perfect, okay, I'm right. taking you back to the factory. I can tell you. <laughs> that will piss each and every last one of them off. But speak, I know it, but it'll piss each and every last one of them off. But do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, if you are if you think that you're a Ferrari, then that means that you're, as far as I'm concerned, you're maintenance free. Because I got somebody to take care of my Ferrari for me. That sucker's making a little bit of noise that I don't like. I pick up the telephone. Some dude comes by when I get my Ferrari back. It ain't making noise no more. So that means that if you start making a little bit of noise that I don't like, I pick up the telephone, I call somebody. When you come back, you ain't making noise no more. I'm not for. Not for me. But see, I got leverage over you. Your daddy didn't have. You're ratchet up dingling? Yeah. Oh, that's some fucked up shit, dude. <laughs> that's okay. Ration it out. Amazon got adult toys. <laughs> yeah, we still got a Prime membership. <laughs> Free shipping. Free shipping. Guaranteed two days. <laughs> yep. Amazon Prime. <laughs> He acts up, we come. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't say you weren't for a war. <laughs> so if you're in the bed, you but my if you're in the bed, and you're in the bed, don't be surprised. <laughs> don't be shocked or disheartened. Be like, damn, she was serious. <laughs> Like the this should be a question that should be asked. Yeah. I think more often. And the fact that she's offended. Yeah. It, oh yeah. Is and then her response is, is, "Are you poor?" Is ridiculous. That doesn't even make sense. If somebody says, "The fuck," just, just, just you as a person. Who are you? Yeah. What do you offer? What do you bring to? You have to be. You're poor. That means you have to like it. She's, because you're asking the other person about it. She's she's the state is, and she automatically went to that. Yeah. Or just tr she's fishing for something to. Yep. That means you have nothing to offer. About. Yeah. Because if you, I feel like, if someone at like people who have problems with questions like that, don't have something to answer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's more like an insecurity on you. That's why you know she what I'm saying? went to it, When you respond like that it says more about you than the person asking the question yes. because that person is just trying to interact find things out about you learn more about you yeah. and also like trying to make sure that you are to trying to get towards something yep you know what i'm saying killing two birds with one stone a person who actually has something going for themselves and it really has is trying to make themselves have a purpose and i'm saying you ain't gotta be rich you ain't gotta be rich you gotta have a purpose yeah. you gotta be going towards something progression yeah a person who is doing something like that, doing something that is worthy of human time, like actually, mm. they would be proud to uh, mm -hmm. to answer that question. Yes. They have something to say and they'd be yes. proud to brag about it. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? You want, like, exactly. When people, when you ask someone who don't have a job, what do you do for a living? That person automatically is like, damn, I'm fucking up. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that goes in their mm -hmm. head. So... You know what I'm saying? A person might be, then that's when the, the liberal mindset comes in. Like, I shouldn't have to work to be a person. That's slavery. That you're a consumer. Yeah. You just care about money. You're a capitalist. Like, that's where that mindset comes from. Because fuck survival. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is just life. Like, life is what it is, regardless of if you like it or not. Mm -hmm. You're not going to change a system that you were born into by being broke first of all by not not trying to go towards something that action is the only way that you can change it mm -hmm. is going towards something so you know what i'm saying it, it, the thing the mindsets don't even go together but yeah the, i feel like someone who's someone who has a problem with that is lacking it is clearly it doesn't have something to say but yeah mm -hmm. let's continue uh, okay before she gets into it okay just real quick again can he go Right when poised with a non-threatening, well, can't say him. realistic question, yep. He's down there. the first thing, shame, shaming. Oh, yep. you right automatically, hey, automatically, guys, women do what, that. Women do that so much too. I'm sorry, I just paused it so quickly, but men get shamed. They talk men. Women say men shame. I've said this so many times. Women say men shame women like 
like calling them hoes, call them sluts, all this. Da, da, da. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Men do not call women hoes. Mm -mm. Like, and if they do, they're little boys. They're like little kids. Yeah. Men do not call. We don't even like. We might think it. We might think it when a girl acts a certain way. Yeah. But men do not just walk around calling girls hoes because men. They know that fucks up the opportunity of them fucking them. Yes. <laughs> like, men are not just walking around shitting on women. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. But that's how women make it seem. Like, or just bitter women. Like, not all women do that. Mm -hmm. But you hear these women who say men ain't shit and shit. They, they say, oh, I'm doing a slut walk because everyone calls women hoes and da, da da But the thing is, is the people who call women hoes are women. It's women, yeah. It's women that talk the most shit about women. Always. So... That slut walk is just a bunch of bitches hating each other, <laughs> acting like they're friends, it's looking like at that. each other like, Literally. oh, look at this bitch, look at what yes. she's wearing, Imagine. like, oh, I had to outdo that, like, it's just a bunch of, it's just a bunch of uh, negative energy, that's all I want to Imagine the animosity yes. in that parade, yes. imagine the, fi yo, yes. fuck that, and that's the thing, it's been like that since the beginning of time, yeah. like, women don't yeah. fuck with women, yeah. they, it just, uh, it's a fact, but they, but they pretend to today, mm -hmm. which is why the world is so fucked up. Mm -hmm. Which is why things like leave all women and like shit that doesn't even make sense because yeah. we all know people are just humans, yeah. regardless of their gender. You're just a human, yeah. so you can lie just like I can. Okay, but you're not also not in these situations. So when you are in, when you go to a, you're, you see, you're not the type of person that would be at a club. You're not a type of person that would dress up to go to a club like that. So when you go to a club or one, any of these events where these women are dressed to the nines, they're not doing that to impress you, the man. They're doing that to threaten other women. Because the, the, man, does not, the man does not see, most of the time when the man sees all of or to let, Or to let her man know. But, okay, dressing up provocative like that is to garner more male's attention and let her man know, hey, you have me, but don't think, you know. No, it's not. It's to threaten the other women to not be flirting with my man. And the other one. And what? What I was just saying. To remind because, him what you No, because if you have to dress like that to remind him, then you're not reminded him on a daily. If that's the only thing that you do to remind him, if every everything that you do should remind so he does not see you dressed like that. Because you are dressed I'm not saying that's what he that's what I'm saying in a woman's mindset. In a female mindset. I'm dead serious, and, and I've seen too many women do Okay, it. but stop. What I'm saying is, is these women that have that mindset are not taking care of their man right. constantly. So that's what I'm saying. That is, They are not in a true, loving, committed relationship. It's all a fallacy. But if you're in a true loving relationship that man should see you when you're dressed to the nines that looking like this that's how he should see you constantly even when you're looking like yes. this so but when you dress to the nines to go to these events you are not dressing like that to keep your man from looking around you are dressing like that to to show off to frighten off any women from flirting with your man but then also to let the other men in the room know that he has chosen you. So you're helping his status go up by being the arm candy. You're staving off the other women. And then you're also reminding him that, you know, this is what you're not getting just now. You get this all the time. Those women that you're talking about, they are they are these bitches. Because that's that's all they figured this is all you got. You're not getting the other shit at home. You're not getting that stuff like like uh the, when he did the thing in Thailand, the way the guy was treated. The way you treated. Yeah, the way y'all you know, so when you say you see other women doing that you don't know what's in their head because you you are you are judging their actions by what's in your head 
your head's not because they are they're not there they're there for themselves they're not there for the relationship they're not there if it's whatever they and the next man that comes up she's also dressing like that to show the other men that if you can do better for me than he can i'm here for you in a heartbeat that? Well, see, you left that part of it out because that's in those women's heads. Okay, first one. Can lie, and she can lie, and he can lie, and they can lie, and whatever your pronoun is, you can lie, mm -hmm. and you can bullshit, and you can be petty, yeah. and you can do terrible shit. So it doesn't even make sense to just automatically give someone like the reward of nothing you say is a lie until you prove it and ruin the world first yeah. like you get the opportunity to ruin the world before i say that you could even possibly mm -hmm. mess something up right like fuck out of here no 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 mm -hmm. and it's bullshit and it's women feeding each other that type of shit in yes. an echo chamber and it's like <laughs> but then, it, it feels like it's just women trying to give themselves more wiggle room and then more uh opportunity Pri more to, privilege yes. they're just trying to give themselves more and more yes. privilege because they're women and i'm not saying women don't go through shit because i would not i wouldn't be a woman i wouldn't i, I wouldn't be a woman i would not switch my gender mm -hmm. because it's not oh by the way i'd be a rich bitch <laughs> i'd be a rich bitch <laughs> said something to him like you know uh to the you don't know what it's like to be a woman you know and all the you know and, and blah blah he said the only thing i can and, and and she goes you know, she said something like i'd like i'd like to see you live the life of a woman for a day and see how you'd handle it he says in uh, 24 hours i'd be one rich bitch that's all i got to say 24 hours i'd be a rich bitch <laughs> I don't care who I have to do. <laughs> you give me a million, I will make it worth your while. <laughs> I about, about pissed myself laughing, and my grandfather's over there chuckling, and it's his daughter, but you know, it's granddad. I just, can't care <laughs> it is I'd be one red bit. I don't care what I have to do. <laughs> oh, 24 hours is all you need. <laughs> That's all I need. 24 hours. <laughs> That's great. But you know what? I'm not shocked coming from your side of the family. I am not shocked. None the least. Easy to be a woman. But I know women wouldn't really want to be men either like if they actually know. had to be men they would not want to do it I if know. a woman says she wants to be a man she means she just wants the privileges that she thinks men have uh -huh. but she does not want the negatives that come with it that there and there's a lot a of negatives that come with being a man. Yeah. and they would love to make you think that that's not true but shit like that like that like are you poor like that type of shit cuts a nigga a rich nigga you know what i'm saying it mm -hmm. cuts a rich nigga deep when a when a woman says uh bum or mm -hmm. something like that regardless of how much money you have and a woman knows that a woman knows that because of the relationship between men and women and the way that this world works this it's set up in such a fucked up way but it is it's set up how it is set up but the shaming shit bro is disgusting it's disgusting and i wish more people would just more women would just be honest about it mm -hmm. and just like now nah, that is that's grimy that is that's fucked up she shouldn't have said that more women need to do that you know what i'm saying than just being like oh you're right because you're a woman in the patriarch yeah, yeah. i've owned janitorial services i've worked for I mean, growing up for my parents i've been in women's restrooms they think men write some raunchy shit on bathroom walls oh hell no Oh, them women. Oh, hell no. Them women are fucking raunchy. 
damn, I mean, it burnt my eyes to hey, speak don't be, look, and, they hey, name, don't, and they name names and give phone numbers. Don't be, this is the thing, though. Don't be a little dick motherfucker or be what we call a one-minute man and then try to diss that female. Act like your name ain't going to that bathroom wall along with the phone. If you want to quit to do with the little dick, call such and such. Yeah, oh, man, yeah. name and phone numbers. Oh, fuck yes. Them women, oh, damn, I remember I, when I first started helping uh, my mom and stepdad, and I walked in the first women, and I was uncomfortable going in there anyway, you know. And I walked into this women, you know, other, growing up, I'd go in with mom, into, you know, straight into the stall, because mom had, but to go in there and actually roam around the women, I mean, this is like their sanctum, and I'm cleaning up and, and, and looking at the, well, because we've got to wipe down the walls and sanitize. Damn. Mm -hmm. Damn. Shit. <laughs> hey, don't be a funny bitch either. Because they put your name on every damn phone on there. Want the free pussy call? Yeah, I want to get rid of your boyfriend and introduce him to her, and then you'll have you'll get rid of him by tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, women are very vindictive. So, so don't, don't, we no. like the bitches. Oh man. For real. Yeah. And I mean, and, and and crude and vulgar and explicit, and they draw too. They will draw pictures. <laughs> in the wage, in the wage gap, like bunch of just shit that just bleh, gets regurgitated and has no fucking basis you know but it is what it is <laughs> let's go let's keep going here's what i i actually hate to see okay i hate to see so often these podcast groups where the men are being logical they're being respectful they're being this they're being that and then the women just go completely off the goddamn rails that with their disrespect yeah. with their shaming and their insults okay i don't like to see it i would much rather see two great types of conversations yeah. between mm -hmm. both so when you come side, to an understanding my side. but when you go down to the surface level bullshit that she just tried to play yeah this is what you get are okay? you poor but let's let's hope that maybe come on you, you want to you want to find out if i'm if i'm a good person comes back in are you us. broke nigga are if you a you broke boy <laughs> looked at me and you saw me you knew that you wanted me you're approaching me on brit probably that? sexually mm, i don't think but what, what does that Wait, have to they're do just saying things <laughs> she's just saying things <laughs> did she just say what i think she yeah said? she's just saying things she she just wants to argue because what was that what if a nigga yo if a every time i don't care what you say if a nigga says he's not he's lying all right yep. let me just say this let yep. me preface it with that if a nigga says this isn't the truth he's lying yeah every time a nigga approaches a woman to talk to her the very, the, the very, when he looks at a woman, the first thing in his mind, would I tap that? Was that something that I would, and if yes, then full speed ahead. Let's see what, but if. You evaluated me like that? Every man evaluates every woman like that. It's the same way you look at a car. You look at a car, would I want to drive that? Would I want to be seated? You know, if it doesn't look. I, I know I was only two. Yeah, but. Oh, that's the very first because that's what's that's what's in our DNA. I mean, that's where would I tap? No, would I want my kids to look like that? No, oh fuck no. Do I, do I want my friends to see me with that? No, okay, no. Is she is she a moped chick? Oh, mopeds are fun to ride, but you don't want your friends seeing you do it. Oh, okay. Seriously? Yeah. You got Y'all classify women like oh, that? Oh yeah, you got your one bagger, your two bagger, your three bagger. You got your moped chick. Yeah. Okay, so you got your community chest. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. A one bagger, I know what that is. You don't want to see. You put a bag over your head, or bag over her head, so you don't have to look at her. Okay. You put a bag, a two baggers when you put a bag over her head and a bag over your head in case the bag over her head falls off. Okay. 
but three baggers when you put a bag over her head, a bag over your head, and a bag over the dog's head, because you don't even want the dog to know what you're doing. <laughs> and you turn out the lights and pull the shades. <laughs> and wait for the dark of the moon. <laughs> In my mind, if you gotta go through all that, you shouldn't be fucking her. <laughs> no, I'm serious. In my mind, you shouldn't be fucking her. Most men are equal opportunists. Everybody deserves a little pipe every now and then. That's right. Sexual thought, the the potential of sexual thought is there. It's there, and that is why he is approaching you because he wants to experience it and knows absolutely nothing else about you, nothing other else. than what you look like that from is afar. It. That is it. And he can say, "No, it's just because I thought you like no nigga is sexual." <laughs> it's it's it's, well, it's just like that. You, you could be you could be going along, I be, and you you see that Ferrari sitting over there, and you go. Damn. Now that would be fun. That would be f f scary, but fun. And then you drive it down the road, and you look over in the Walmart parking lot, and here's this beat-up POS Jeep. You know, 4x4, four four off-road. Looks like it's been road wet. It's still covered with POS. Piece of shit. Okay. You know, four-wheel drive. You know, you've seen these trucks that look like they've been through hell. And then you look at that and go, damn. Now that would be fun. <laughs> because you're not care you're not worried about tearing that up. That, that that sucker has been through hell and back and it's still you ain't gonna tear that shit up. It's ready for anything you can anything you can do. It will you look at that Ferrari and you go, damn, I'd really but oh man, no, I'd tear that shit up. Don't even get no I couldn't afford to ruin that the way I'd run. And see, that's... Yeah. So a logical man will look at like that. You don't want to... You, you, so you, you can look at the... It's to say that men analyze women like they analyze cars. To a degree, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, if for car guys, you know, if you got a guy that's into musical instruments, he might look at her like a saxophone or whatever. I mean, you got or a violin. You got high dollar instruments that you handle with care, and and they're for making fine music. And but the one that you want to party with, and you don't. Re I mean, you want to get shit faced drunk party. You go down to the down to the to the to, to the, the uh, uh, pawn shop and pick you up one of these beat up used violins and still got the strings and still makes the notes and still has the sound but you ain't worried about it. <laughs> what that might go through the rest of the night during the party <laughs> if somebody pukes down its neck you ain't gonna worry about it press platter. Press platter. <laughs> primitive you know what i'm saying it's 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 instinctual mm -hmm. it's just there Mm, I don't think so. Like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? What are you? Mm, what is it then? <laughs> what is it then? Name anything. For what? A, oh, your vibe. <laughs> your vibe pulled me over here. Was it? Your energy. Your energy pulled me over here. Is that what it was? <laughs> oh, okay. Our horoscopes did this. Okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> the gravitational pull. <laughs> like, get out of here. Oh, you drank a love potion. Oh, okay, Helga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going now. To the table. You knew that you saw me and you liked me. So why mm. do you need to know what I bring to the I'm, table? I'm, you <laughs> saw me and you if liked I, me. If I <laughs> look at where, hold on, hold on. So why do you need to know what I this bring to the table? This Michael Jackson, Latoya Jackson, Jackson look, looking look, look, girl in the middle. Right here. <laughs> yeah, he's pissed look, look already. Right over here as well. Just try to compute the pure malarkey. If I see you, yeah, yeah. I want to hear what you have to say. Yes, because we're being poised and we're taking turns. Before if you, if you, you if I feel I like you, mm -hmm. that's purely physical, correct? Absolutely. I mean, it depends. 
Bitch. What, what else can it be? I'm, I'm going off what I, I'm going off what you look like. It's what like, else can it be? You could have met me in the library with a little librarian sweater on. It's still how you look. She just said with a little librarian sweater on. Because you're in the library. Still how you look. That's what you're wearing, bitch. It's just bullshit. It's just bullshit, bro. It feels like bullshit. Like they must, they're all friends and shit, so they're just gonna allow that type of bullshit to be said. But if I'm sitting on the other end, tell me how it's not physical. Still, literally, finish that. You were yeah. not getting past this. How until is that you not answer. physical? Yeah. You're not gonna act like what you're saying is an actual answer to mm -hmm. that question because it's not. You could have seen me. You said. Yep. You could have seen me yep. at a library yep. with a little librarian sweater. He Wearing. still wanted to fuck that little librarian. He liked the oh, innocence shit. of the librarian sweater, and he wanted to fuck it. Like, she's hype. She's, Don't play she's, games. She's being hypocritical. Is that what it is? No, no. She's nitpicking and okay. trying to move goalposts. She does, it doesn't even... It's not hypocritical. It's just totally not logical. It's not hypocritical. It just doesn't make sense she's, because yeah. it's... the. Physical is the main attraction there's no, from jump literally, every time. Literally, there's every no other time. reason for she can't. Maybe she, not for women. I don't know. I don't know. Well, see, you also look at it too. Like, let's go back to the car analogy. Oh my God, really? Well, okay, but look at you could these women that get all dog. You can make a you can make a damaged car look showroom perfect. Okay, this is where you like with you say, you, false advertising. Yeah. When you see them before and after shots. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 oh, I'm gonna tell you the high value man. He could he. He would have no problem picking out a high value woman shopping at Walmart if she was dressed like just by the way she carried herself and her behavior. That in itself is an attractant. You can have a beautiful woman, physically beautiful woman, that as soon as she gets up from the table and starts walking across the room, you know that this is a bitch you don't want to have anything to deal with. Just by the way she walks and acts or, and interacts with the people that are around her. You can have a person that's dressed, you know, in sweat, sweats and get up and carry yourself in a way that Okay, that's a woman that I want to meet because, you know, you can, like Joshua, you could take Joshua and go down to a thrift store and buy him a, a $10 suit off the rack he'll make and he'll make it look like a million dollars. You take Robert Lee and put him in a million dollar suit and it will, it will look like somebody from the thrift store who found a million dollar suit. And is wearing it. I mean, it's because they carry themselves differently. You know, Bobby is more laid back. It, he, he really does. He, he does not get overly concerned about anything other than immediate emergencies. Joshua carries himself like he's prepared for anything at any moment. And he's already thought about them. You come to him with the problem and you go with him with the confidence that if he wasn't aware of this problem... It's just coincidence, because if he comes to you with a problem at work, he's ready for an answer, as if he was aware of the problem, was just looking for the person to solve it. That's how Josh, does that make sense? So, you know, so... Like the, for me and you, you knew what you were getting. Yeah. When we met, I had on jeans, a pair of ripped jeans, a t-shirt, a V-cut t-shirt, Yeah. We've been together six years, and you have never seen me. I'm not a makeup, makeup person. I'm just I saying, mean, you have never seen me. I'm not a makeup person, makeup. because that's not the person. I mean, that's, that's not the you person. Knew. It wasn't no false advertising. No. You knew what you were getting from Jump Street. This, oh, this bitch don't want makeup. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I just, and I've date, I dated women that they... they They, if they spent the night, they would purposely get up an hour before you did so they could go put up makeup on because they didn't want to see you. They did not want you to see them without makeup on until after you were married. Once you got the paper, then it doesn't matter. But I've been with women that I never saw them without makeup. 
It was not allowed. No, I mean it's just it's just it's I'm girly when I had when the moves of that up and down there. I'm just a plain old girl. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's I'm just a country girl. It depends, you know, and it's it, anyway. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. That's just said most most men you know most men when you say you saw this you know i was evaluating it i was evaluating your behavior i was evaluating everything so you know it's you know, people have no clue they women think that men are gullible and and foolish and just little boys and men let women think that because the only thing men want is pussy so men will let a woman think that she's in charge, and if he, if, if that's what it takes to get in bed with her. But when it comes to the relationship and the marriage, then that's that's when women get bent out of shape. If you're not the man I married, well, you're not the woman I married. <laughs> so it goes both ways. I let you get away with some shit when we were still dating because I wanted the pussy. You let me get away with some shit when we were dating because you wanted the ring. Now the truth comes out of both of us, right? So quit. Play. My plus, don't play the game. You know, if you get, if you're playing the game in a relationship, then realize you're playing the game, and don't take that game. Don't put a ring on that game. Don't marry the game. You know, if the, if the game's fun to play, but you don't take the game home with you. You know, you go to the park, you meet with the guys, you play the game, but when you go home, that's where it's supposed to be serious. If you're still playing the game, when when you leave the basketball court and you're going home, and you got a basketball goal in the in the dining room and one by the TV, you know, and that's all you're, then you're just playing a game during law and then that's all you're going to get. You're going to get a woman that plays the game, too. But if you're going to be serious at home, then you better have a woman that's going to be serious at home and not the one that's playing the game at home, at the club, at the grocery store, you know. So that's the reason. I agree. I agree. you got to live with a woman. you got to. Uh, you have to live with a person for at least a year. Because it is hard for somebody to keep up a facade for a solid 12 months. You will find out what they're like going through every holiday, every season. What are they like in the wintertime? I'm a sick cry baby. Well, you know, you know if, it, <laughs> if, they're, if you live in an area where there's snow, you know, are they like, hey, I can't go to work because there's snow in or, or whatever. You know, I can't, I can't. Or they're the ones that's out there, you know, so... You know, Christmas time, what are they like with the holidays and with around family? And, you know, these are the things that you got to figure out. I figure I'm just me. And then after a year, you know, that the hot, passionate, it's hard for both of them to keep up that facade that long. One of them will usually, the truth will come out. So. One of them will be Yeah. And then some it takes longer than that. But I'm just saying, you know, don't don't get married till you know the person and know what you're getting. And and don't settle with a well the sex is really good. You can get good sex. Good sex is not hard to find. You know, it's not everywhere, but good sex is not hard to find. You know what's harder to find? A good person that you can have good sex with. But the good person's harder to find than good sex. And see so you, and like you, like you said, you virtually anybody can learn good sex off the internet. Mm -hmm. You can't learn to be a good person off the internet. Yeah. So you can learn to fake good sex. You can't fake being a good person, not for very not long. long yeah. So. Oh, maybe this is the thing. Maybe women might not be as physically attracted to men they i'm not saying they aren't physically attracted to men because they probably you women still see men that they think are attractive but it's probably less than men see when they see like because when men see women yeah it's probably i think it might be 
a lot more sexual than women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Women probably think sexual, but men is like, yeah. I think it's primitively there yes. for men yes. to be sexual when, they, when yes. they're attracted. For one, for one, we were in psychology classes. A man is a visual, looks for the visual pleasure. A woman looks for security. She looks for a man that she feels can protect her and her kids. She needs to feel secure with them. A woman will date a butt ugly man if he's got the money to take care of her and her kids. Where a man, it doesn't matter how rich she is, if she's a butt ugly woman, he won't marry her. If he marries her just for the money, then he's going to bounce the first chance he gets. But that's the reason why you will see rich, successful men with younger, beautiful women. But rich, successful women generally do not look for younger guys. You will have the occasional cougar that they, but mostly rich, successful women. I tried that cougar shit. I don't understand how women do it. That's raising another kid, literally. You're, you're fucking your child. Literally. Because them motherfuckers, no. I don't understand how these older women, I don't understand it, don't get it. I know. No. But if you're at, like I said, at the hospital, you would see the, you would see the successful doctors with the, with the, Dating the cute nurses and the but the success the male doctors but the successful female doctors were dating the other successful male doctors or the specialist. You would have the general uh, emergency female, but she was dating a neurosurgeon. You know they will men will date down for looks. Women will not date down for looks. Women will not, you know, they'll play, they'll play down, but they will not date, seriously date. A woman will date up. A man has to be at least as financially equivalent if she's successful or has to be better off. Because a woman always looks for security. And you learn that in your psychology class. Okay. Point. I'm just saying that was... I just wonder how in touch you are with your feminine side. That's all. It depends on what time of the month it is. Once a month, I get really in touch with my feminines. And we're getting towards the end of the month, right? It's my, it's my time of month. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Between, usually between the, the, the last 10 days of the month, that's when... Oh, yeah, we're at we're 10 the 20, days. Yeah, we're at the 20. So we're, we're, we're at the start of my, my monthly cycle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 